If there's anything that the Daniel Raimundo fatality has emphasized, it's that seatbelts save lives. Four people were involved in the accident. The two wearing seatbelts were unhurt. The two who weren't suffered serious injuries, and one of them, nine-year-old Raimundo, was killed after he was ejected. So would Daniel have survived if he had been wearing a seatbelt? It's impossible to say, but some feel that his mother, 28-year-old Ana Peña Rivera, who suffered serious injuries to her legs, shares some blame in the death of her son. The DA's office appears to disagree, saying last week that Peña Rivera was not charged for violating the state's child passenger safety law. But even if Peña Rivera had been charged with the civil infraction, it wouldn't have made much of a difference. The fine in Massachusetts is only $25, equal to a parking meter violation in Waltham. In fact, the fine for having an unrestrained dog in the back of a pickup truck is at least $50, and the fine for picking a Mayflower is $100. According to the Centers for Disease Control, vehicle crashes are one of the leading causes of death for children aged 3 to 14. Across the nation, Massachusetts ranks among the least punitive in terms of child passenger safety laws, sharing the $25 minimum with states such as Mississippi, Texas, South Dakota, and Iowa. In 2009, the state passed a booster seat bill that required all children under 8 years old or under 57 inches tall to be in booster seats, but legislators missed an opportunity to raise the fine. Whether an increased fine would have saved Daniel's life is doubtful, but a higher fine could mean increased awareness of child passenger safety and fewer avoidable tragedies. For Waltham Newswatch, this is Chris Wangler.